I went to a local comic book show at the Poughkeepsie Civic Center, spent a bunch of money. What did I take home? All right, guys, I went to the Poughkeepsie Civic Center for the Mid-Hudson Comic Book Convention. I think that's what the name of it was. I don't remember. Got in with Ryan, our email, Ryan Brown. Uh, did a little shopping, did a little perusing, saw a bunch of familiar faces, chatted it up with some people, and uh, picked up a bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is go through the con. I did a lot of recording. Uh, and then talk about what exactly I picked up before we get into it. Check the description down below, guys. There's discount codes for variants uh, from Bird City Comics. Discount code for whatnot. There's a discount code for cover price. There's uh, Erod's information is down there. You guys always ask me about pressing. Erod's information is down there if you want that. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. But, uh, you know, give me a follow on all the social media stuff. That's in there, too. Enough of that. We won't do that really quick. I can't wait to talk about all this stuff. But before we do, we're going to take a walk around the convention. All right, guys, here we go, Mid-Hudson Comic Con. Before the doors open, you get to see what a small convention looks like before the doors open. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We got a Kutsky robes. Yeah. Which uh, Spider-Woman did you need? What's up, Mike? 37, hey. Anybody want some Pokemon stuff? More Pokemon stuff? Oh. I do like the magnets. Oh, look at this. Maybe. Might have to be back for something like that. We'll see. I'm going to try to spend some money today. We'll see if I can find anything. A lot of Funkos, a lot of toys. At least we have statues over here. That's good. Nice stuff. What's up, man? How you doing? We have weapons over here. How are you? Just in case, you know, tactical stuff. Makes sense at a comic convention. Funkos. A little bit of guests over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's going to be here, except for these guys. How you doing, man? Quick lap around here. Ah, this, this thing. All right. Narrow lanes, narrow lanes. Oh, here, we'll, we'll stop here. We'll definitely come through this spot. We'll come through this spot. We got toys at the end of this aisle. Other side, here's the other side of this Pokemon stuff right here. Bang. Other side of this booth, I probably won't be at that one. You know why I won't be at this one, guys? It's just because it's not, it doesn't look super organized, and I'm a little bit anal about that stuff. I will probably look at these toys, because I'm a child, you all know that by now. This one, I might be looking at this one as well. I'll definitely be looking at this one. I've gotta be looking at the slabs. We'll look at all that stuff. Marvel Legends, those are always fun. We'll dig into that. We'll see. We'll try to we'll try to spend some money today. See if we can find some stuff. Ah, uh, more stuffed animals because I guess why not? More stuffed animals. Tom Ryan, right here. What's up, Tom? How's it going, Good. Oh, we're gonna be looking here. We'll definitely be playing around at this booth. So look. We got Castle Grayskull and some turtle stuff. Yeah, we'll be back here. We got some cosplayers. I guess more weapons because, again, why not? Oh, this one makes more sense than the other one. Let's be honest. The Keyblade is here. Hammer, Thor's hammer. This one makes more sense. Uh, we've got some anime statues here. We've got some vinyl some slabs, some miscellaneous toys here. Oh, we do have a box of books here. Oh, we see the first, what do we got there? First governor. We'll be back and check out prices. We'll see. Oh, Ryan Brown, we know him. 
<laughs> oh, but look at this, guys. Here, this is a good booth. I don't know if any of you guys had this. I did. How you doing, man? Good. I do. I definitely had that. The two ends come off. And these are some statues. Apocalypse Destroyer, Winter Soldier, Hulk. Look at the Hobgoblin, no. That's, I believe that's an older piece. The Bowen Thor. All right, last row here. This is not, I guess that's a whole gaming section over there. All right. We have wrestlers over there. Kayla Sparks and Dirty Dang Fang Dango. Oh, Ming Chen is here. We're going to try to get an interview with him. I ran. I actually ran into him at a pizza place last night. Just, I should have, my wife yelled at me. She's like, why don't you just break out your phone and talk to him real quick? Yeah, I probably should have. That's all right. Some magic stuff. Again, guys, doors haven't opened yet, so. That's why it looks a little desolate right now. People are still setting up. Uh-oh. I don't know about that. We have to talk to Manny about that one for NY Warriors. If he'd be interested in that. I don't know if that's original, though. All right, last row, guys. This is it. What's up, man? Hey, how you guys doing? Jason's over here. All right, so that is the floor. That's everything. All right, so now we're gonna. I'm going to start digging and see what I can find. All right, guys, we're going to dig. We're going to try to spend some money. I'm a quick story, story time. I did purchase a first governor for $40. It was probably about, it was raw. It was probably about a 9.4, few ticks on it. Handed the man $40 cash, move on. I was looking around, and he came up to me and said, my partner said that was too low. Sorry, I need the book back. That's a true story. It's also the first time it's ever happened to me. So... Say what you will. I thought actually 40 bucks was a good price because I thought maybe full retail could have been about 60 at the best, but hey, it is what it is. We move on. Some of you guys are probably gonna rip him in the comments and hey, you are all allowed to, you know, your opinions. Let's see if we can find something in here that we're happy with. That's the first Baz. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. If you guys see anything, just let me know. Do I want this? Uh, no. Eh, uh, maybe. We'll see. Are these in any order? No. Okay. Her. That's not a newsstand. I do always like this book, but I never find it in high grade. When I say high grade, I mean like 9.0 or better. Never find it in 9.0. What else do we have here? Anything we can be happy with. Anything we can be happy with. I have about 50 of those. Nah. Alright, we got Deathstroke. Silver Thor. Whoa, earmuffs, everyone. Earmuffs. I don't know if you guys heard that from my left. Some Submariner. Second. I am a sucker for Silver Age Thor, but today we're going to stay focused. Silver. Or well, Journey into Mystery, too. That's, that's the one that really gets me. Oh boy. Oh man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't really dig to. Oh, see, I like this book, but that's too low of a grade for that price. I like this. This is the first Red Wolf, guys. I like that book. I have a bunch of them. First Black Winter, third print, nah. No, no, no. 
That's a second print. That's a first print. All right. It's a little domestic dispute next door. That's cool. Let's see. high enough grade for me. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Nah. I do. No. All right. We're going to have to move on. We got a lot of slabs to dig through. Should we dig through them more quick? Let's go. I already pulled something, but I don't want to show you guys. You have to stick around later for that one. A lot of good stuff. All good pricing. All the prices are right, which is nice. This newsstand direct. Nothing better than having the right prices. In my opinion, of course. It's like bittersweet. The prices are right, so it's not much of a deal, but at least they're right. Don't sleep on this book. Don't sleep on that one either. Yeah, this is only the second one they sold, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was saying how the price of them was pretty good compared to like looking on eBay and like, plus 20% of added. You don't know what you're looking for. It's alright, man. I prefer Yeah. It's nine eight there. Yeah, I've already found a couple. Like a Mask number one, like guys. I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, oh, that's another good one. Nice book. Remember this? Oh, actually, let me see this. Yeah, Morales did ink that, huh? Yeah, it is good. Alright, I, we don't need to go. I'm going to keep looking, guys, but we don't have to record all this. Okay. Alright, you guys got a glimpse. Basically, a good view. I shouldn't say a glimpse. You got the whole floor. You saw what was there, and I'm going to show you what I purchased. Uh, it was an okay little show. I, I got in with Ryan, so I don't know exactly what it cost to walk in the door but I'm pretty sure it's a little overpriced. I remember the booths were overpriced and that's why I didn't set up there. It wasn't worth it for me. Um, but it was a nice little thing, you know, to get into. So let's let's quickly go over what I purchased. Now I spent like three, yeah, I spent like 500 bucks, like give or take like $20, but I spent right around $500. Quickly, we'll go through some stuff. I picked, all right, so I picked up some books. I picked up some stuff for giveaways. I picked up some stuff for whatnot auctions. I picked up, let me see, giveaway, giveaway, auction, some giveaway and auction. And I picked up some books for myself. And yeah, some good price stuff. So let's start out with some of this stuff. So I picked up a whole bunch of Marvel cards, PSA graded Marvel cards, all different ones. I tried to pick out some cool characters. We have two, two Wolverine holograms, Green Goblin. Right, it's hard to pass up Green Goblin. It's hard to pass up Doctor Doom. We got Captain America, Adam Warlock. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Well, oh, what did I get here? Magneto and Doctor Doom. I don't know why I grabbed that one. That was weird. Uh, we got a Wolverine. We also, unless he threw that in there for me. Uh, who, who's this? Oh, Iron Man, Archangel. I just like the artwork. Artwork on the uh, the Archangel. We got Punisher. All right, and what's cool about these on the back, I don't know if you could see or not, but it shows like their first appearance, their book. Juggernaut, a lot of X-Men. I grabbed a lot of X-Men here. Sabretooth, last but not least, Venom. Looking great. Oh, they didn't put his first appearance on the back. They put his first cover appearance, which is the ASM 316, except the little floating head on the Hydro Man book. So some of these are going to be up for auction. And actually, what's funny is uh, I think I'm going to put these up as buy it nows in the giveaway show. So I do have a giveaway show coming up. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. So the giveaway show may have already happened. Sorry. Uh, but there's going to be a whole bunch of buy it nows. But other than that, it's like 90 minutes of giveaways. I'm going to try. Maybe I'll put this video out Monday. That way the video 
the whatnot giveaway show is Tuesday. I also got a bunch of these magnets to give away. All different ones. Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Spidey, Gambit, Cyclops, Archangel again, Doctor Doom, She-Hulk, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch, Susan Storm, and Silver Surfer, just to name them all. That's what I picked up there. Giveaway stuff. Here's the next bunch of giveaway stuff on whatnot. I got these cool coasters. A little bit of a sin, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I watched the guy make these things. He was cutting up comic books. I didn't like that, but uh, ultimately, this is what you're left with. You know, I, I picked up a Venom and a Carnage. We'll give these away during that show as well. Kind of cool. Something different. They also made trivets, which were just a, technically a bigger version of a coaster. Uh, and then this thing, this will be... This I was actually happy to come across this. Marvel Universe. This is a skybox, sealed box of Marvel Universe uh, Series 3. We're going to put this on a whatnot. The buy it now. The wheel. I think I explained it in a previous video. So all that I picked up. But most importantly, the comic books, right? So you know how I feel about this book. This is Fantastic Four 164. First Frankie Ray. I don't. I think I paid like five bucks for this book. Not in great, great condition, but I try to pick this up when I can see it at the right price. And these, this is one of those books that when I come across it in collections, I hold on to it. I pull it up, pull it out, and I hold on to it. I usually don't sell that book. Next up, I thought this was kind of neat. This is a Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons number one, a New York Comic Con exclusive. I thought that was neat. So, I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, two other books. I don't, I picked this up. I don't even know why. The Marvel Age, the Stan Lee one. I think I paid $17. I don't even, I don't know. I just saw it and I was like, all right. I think I have like five of them, but I, I don't know. Last but not least, uh, one more book. This one I am going to hang on to. Uh, this is a book that I always, I seem to come across and sells immediately. And I said, you know what? I'm going to hang on to this one. It's an okay grade. Got it at a good price. This is Thor 225 first Fire Lord in a 7.5 off-white pages. So I'm going to hang on to this one. This one's not going to go anywhere. Um, but uh, again, it's one of those books like I don't come across too, too often. And as soon as I do, it sells immediately. So not this one. That one's hanging with me. So this was about $500 worth of stuff. I don't remember what I paid for the cards. I think it was like 60 bucks for six of them. I could be totally wrong. But I remember bringing five hundred dollars with me, and I had like ran, you know a couple extra bucks in my pocket, and I went home with nothing. So, and this is what I got. But that was the, the Mid Hudson Valley Comic Con. Not sure exactly what it was, uh, at, and it's once a year. So, check it out if you want next year, uh, middle of August at the Poughkeepsie Civic Center. So that's it for me in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the little con, something a little different for the channel. We do have more CGC unboxings coming. I'm sorry, I know getting old, do have collection video, and uh, we do have King Con around the corner, guys. I hope you plan on coming to that. And of course, I do have some stuff set up for New York Comic Con. The one thing I do want to say is we are locked in with artist Mark Morales for Thursday evening, 8.30 on Whatnot. We have a whole bunch of cool stuff to auction off. Bookmark it. I already have the auction set up on Whatnot. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, Keep it comics.